AI AI everywhere. AI is able to generate images. AI is able to generate videos, Hollywood quality videos. This is called as generative AI. It is built on transformers architecture. It is one of the many AI types. You know, there are various kinds of AI. Supervised learning, self-supervised learning, semi-supervised learning, reinforcement learning, evolutionary AI. There are various kinds of AI still being researched. So this AI where we see images being generated, videos being generated is generative AI. Now this AI has limitations. It can only output you the use cases on which it has been trained on. The use cases in which it has not been trained on, it will not be able to tell you with that accuracy. Similarly, if there is any such solution which needs to be thoroughly thought of, like let's say if you want to AI to come up with a design, the most aerodynamic design for aeroplane or let's say for a vehicle, for spaceship, for drones, it will not be able to do that. It can do a decent job or mostly below average job, but it will not be able to come up with the most optimal solution. For these kind of solutions, usually we should use evolutionary algorithms or reinforcement algorithms. In this session, we'll be talking about evolutionary algorithms. Now basically, as the name suggests, evolutionary algorithms are those algorithms that keep on evolving. These algorithms basically come up with a solution and they test if the solution is optimal or not. And then if not, it will keep on searching for the most optimal solution till it does not arrive to that solution. And like the name suggests, evolutionary algorithm, it has been inspired from nature. You know, nature also behaves the same. Since centuries, multiple monkeys, humans, animals, fishes, bird have evolved. You know, they have let go some of the features and they have added on some of the features. The features that are being used they get evolved into their offspring and this is how evolutionary process takes place well now as we talked about that the all of these tools like chat gpt gemini and mid journey they have been trained on huge amount of data they learn patterns and then when you give them a prompt they will return you those outputs but that will be in like synchronization with the pattern they have learned now if you want to generate designs for your bedrooms or let's say furniture design if generative ai has been trained on these kind of use cases it will be able to come up with those designs however if uh, it has not been trained it will not be very efficient on that then in that case we will have to look towards evolutionary algorithms or reinforcement learning algorithms well to make you more understand it better i have this demo here here it starts with certain shapes, wheels and everything and then basically in every iteration it evolves. It evolves for the best speed, for the best traveling. Now this is just an example. Going forward in future we will be discussing more about generative AI and other states of AI especially evolutionary AI and its applications in civil engineering, in mechanics and in designing. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for all of the AI research and updates.